Well, finally, the stage at North Hennepin Community College comes alive with a little Irish flair. The Cripple of Inishman is a dark comedy written by famous playwright Martin McDonough. Neil Persley has a preview in Weekend Showcase. Ponder is this Cripple Biddy. The plays depict a lot of characters who are undergoing change in their life. On the surface, they seem static, but there's a lot of movement underneath. The Cripple of Inishman is set in 1934 on the small island community of Inishman. Director Mike Ritchie was inspired to bring the production to NHCC when he saw the play performed in New York. The main character is called Cripple Billy, and he's the, uh, an orphan child who is being raised by two women who are not related to him at all. He calls them his aunties. He's an introvert. He, he likes to think a lot. He takes it in. He doesn't really give, give things out a ton, but when he, when he says things, it's always meaningful. The characters and the social settings of the play are complex and very foreign to us, right down to the strong Irish accent. Director Ritchie brought in a dialect coach to assist the actors. I never had any experience with doing a dialect for a role before, so I didn't know what, what to expect at all. The story follows Cripple Billy and the other characters as they attempt to land a role in a documentary film by going to auditions on a nearby island. No one thinks Cripple Billy has a chance, but he turns out to be the chosen one. He thinks he's going to get chosen, but at the same time, it's still a long shot. The play is described as a dark comedy. They'll laugh and smile at a lot of things, but underneath, you're wondering, why am I laughing at this because it's sad? Be ready to explore some very complex social dynamics. Irish people are complicated, and uh, you know, you try to paint them with a broad brush stroke, but that doesn't do it. For Weekend Showcase, I'm Neil Persley. The show is tonight, Friday night, and tomorrow at 7.30 at North Hennepin Community College Theater.